So I love that we, we we're doing this and we're loud. mixing up what's happening with Deep Valley and Moonblock and cool. those things are pretty intertwined. What's it like, Very like exciting. doing yeah, the sophomore is. release? I mean, you always hear about that being some kind of pressure, especially for a band like you guys. <laughs> put a lot of pressure on myself. I don't know about Julia. Well, I made a spreadsheet. That's how I externalized <laughs> my stress. Therapeutic. Sorry about that. I've heard that before. <laughs> I really tried to, like, control my studio rage. <laughs> you didn't do any crying either, did you? No, I don't think I did any crying. I get really aggressive and really hostile when I'm exercising. When I'm, like, jogging around Echo Park Lake, like, I hate everyone in my way. I hate everyone walking. This is a problem we're facing today. You know, we're being bought out. I hate everyone walking their stupid little dogs, getting in my way. I hate them so much. <laughs> right. So with the second album, you guys worked with Nick Zenner on it? Yeah. Yeah? How was that? How did that come to be? We played a couple shows with the Yaya yeah, guys, and we kind of just became buds with Nick. And he was like, if you ever need help recording. And I was like, oh yeah, definitely gonna take him up on this. Right. You guys already have a lot of songs written, or did you write in the studio? We didn't have a lot of songs written. Mm -hmm. Any? We had a, an instrumental version of Grunge Bond. Yeah. Nick was like, wanted us to just like write on the spot. He'd be like, all right, start jamming. And it was a really good exercise for us to like be able to like jam and write in front of other people. We're like, all right. Confidence, it helps with confidence, right? Yeah, it's kind of just like confidence, but also just like learning to not be embarrassed about like bad ideas and stuff like that. Like <laughs> it's you just have to, whatever. Like, keep it together too. Yeah. Because Nick Zinner is sitting there. Right. So that's good. So you talked about how you're writing all of the material in the studio that's different than histrionics went right yeah yeah well we, we we like write a lot of it in the rehearsal space bring most of it in and then like finish it in the studio our label wanted us to write more we were on a major so we right. made them rent us a house in Topanga so we could finish writing good for you it was a really fun time actually that speaking of like weed smoking I did so much <laughs> weed smoking during that two-week period so out of character for me Mm. Our only responsibility was really a, like writing. writing. Yeah. Do you think that it has a different sound, the same type of vibe? We've really stayed true to our principles, which are like drums and guitar and vocals. It's a lot more experimental in the sense that we were really like open to just like playing something that like, wow, this isn't blues rock, but like who cares? You right. know? Yeah. Like this is weird. Like what the what the hell is this? It's awesome. There's yeah. a disco track coming up on the album. <laughs> well, Almost. There's a dance track. But yeah. none of it's electronic. It's all like yeah. right. organic, like organically played instruments. But um And I don't do disco that hi hat thing, I refuse. I'm against it. So you're what you're saying is there will be a remix of this song by Boys Noise. I hope so. I don't know who <laughs> Boys Noise is, but <laughs> what's the target for the release? We're hoping I to release fall. It in fall, yeah. Fall? Yeah. Soon. So, janky smooth preview. Yeah, what does it mean? <laughs> I want to hear a song sometime soon. Yeah. I want to go all fanboy on songs. it. I want to yeah. go all fanboy on it. Yeah, we could play you songs today. Oh, yeah, nice. Oh, yeah, I'd love that. That'd be awesome. Sneak peek. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gotta grab that aux cable from Sneaky the car. Do I, can I do a lead? Cool. Or no? Not, not so much. You can air guitar. Okay. Doing things that have been from the back. 